Imagine a world without sound. No laughter, no music, no birds chirping. Sound is everywhere around us, making our world lively and vibrant. But have you ever wondered how sound is produced? How does it travel from one place to another? How do we hear sound? Why are some sounds louder than others? We shall discuss these questions in this video. Sound is produced by a vibrating body. Let us start with the first question, how is sound produced? To answer this, we need to understand what sound is. Sound is a form of energy that is produced by the vibration of an object. What is vibration? Vibration is the to and fro or back and forth motion of an object. When an object vibrates, it disturbs the air around it and creates sound waves. These sound waves travel through the air and reach our ears. Our ears then convert these sound waves into signals that our brain can understand. This is how we hear sound. Let us try an activity. Take a metal ball and pour water in it. Now let us try to strike it. Here we can see that the ball is vibrating and giving off a sound. We closely look at the surface of water. We can see waves being formed and water is coming out of the ball. To properly see the sound vibrations, we can take an example of singing ball. We can properly see how vibrations are being made through movement of water. The metal ball is a special example of a vibrating object that produces sound. When you strike the ball, it vibrates and produces sound. It also creates waves on the surface of water. These waves are the visible representation of sound waves. But not all objects vibrate in the same way. Some objects vibrate faster, some slower. Some objects vibrate more, some less. These differences affect the quality and quantity of sound. Some objects produce high-pitched sounds. Some low-pitched sounds. Some objects produce loud sounds. These differences depend on the frequency and amplitude of vibration. Now after we have heard how sound is produced by instruments. But you must be wondering if sound is produced by vibrations how are humans able to produce it? We, humans are able to produce sound because we have an organ made specially for producing sound. It is present in upper portion of our neck. Its scientific name is larynx. But we normally call it the voice box of the body. Two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air. When lungs are forced to pass air through larynx, these vocal cords stretch and vibrate. This produces sound waves. The muscles attached to vocal cords can make them tight or loose. When the vocal cords are tight and thin, we get a high-pitched sound. The length of vocal cords also cause the changes in voice. The vocal cords in men are about 20 mm long. In women these are about 15 mm long. Children have very short vocal cords. This is the reason why the voices of men, women and children are different. Sound needs a medium for propagation. To understand this, let us try a simple activity. Hold a long metal rod, ask your friend to hold it at one end and you go to the other end. Now make your friend tap the rod with a hammer. You will hear a sound. Now touch your ear with your end of rod and ask him to tap again. This time you will hear a sound and it will be louder than before. We can understand that sound can travel through air as well as solid. We can testify that by making a toy phone. Take a long string and two plastic cups. Now attach the ends of string to the cups. Now ask your friend to go as far as possible with one cup. Try speaking into the cup. 
your friend will be able to hear it even if you are far away. Hence sound travels through strings also. Now here is the fun part. Using a scissor. Cut the string. Now try to speak to the cup again. You will notice that he can't hear you again. This gives proof that sound needs a medium to travel. When there is no medium, string, between the cups, there will be no propagation of sound. Conclusion We were able to understand the importance and production of sound. We came to know why larynx is called the voice box of human body. We were also able to deduce that sound needs a medium to travel by making a toy telephone. So, we can say that sound is a wave that is produced by vibrations. We hope that you have understood the concept of sound. Now, here's a secret on how you can study effectively with the Edurev app. You can learn with chapter notes, watch video lectures and solve NCERT-based MCQ tests of this chapter on Edurev. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for class 8 and much more for your class 8 preparation. Thank you.